Hey everyone, sometimes when working on a new Power BI project, it would be really nice if you could have an image serve as a background template on each of your pages. So if I was working on this blank page here, what I could do if I wanted a background is I could select a page background, find an image, make sure that it fits onto my screen, and then now I have a background image. And from here I could start to build out my visuals and my slicers and eventually get to a finished page very similar to this one. But what happens the minute that I try to add a new page? All right, the minute I go to add a new page, my new page is all of a sudden blank. I no longer get that really nice custom image background that I was looking for. So what I want to show you today is how you can permanently embed your background image into the overall theme of your Power BI file so that anytime that you go and add a new page, that background image is automatically included, right? You can now start to work on your pages and the minute I need to go to the next page, bam, it's already in there. So that's what I wanna show you today. Uh, let's get started. If you are visiting my channel for the very first time, be sure to subscribe. It lets me know that you appreciate the content. And if you enjoy this video, you can always give it a thumbs up. So let's get right into the Power BI solution. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna create our theme. And remember, that's gonna be a JSON file. So I'm gonna create a brand new one. It's really simple. If you already have your own theme, that's great. You can just go ahead and follow along. In order to create one, you're gonna open curly brackets and you're gonna also create a closed curly brackets. And within here, I'm gonna open up some double quotes, type in name. This is gonna be the name of the theme. And I'm just gonna title it my theme. And then I'm gonna save this file. Remember that you have to save this as a JSON file. I'm gonna save this onto my desktop and I'm gonna name it Power BI Theme. Hit save and that's it. You've just created a theme for Power BI Desktop. Now in this theme, I'm not gonna worry about colors or fonts or anything. We're just gonna focus on the background. So take the piece of code that I left in the description and go ahead and copy and paste this in here. If you're working with your own JSON file, if you don't have a visual styles tag, also go ahead and just copy the entire snippet. If you do have a visual styles tag within your JSON file, then you're gonna to wanna to see if you have the background tag. If you don't have the background tag, then go ahead and copy for this background tag section here. And it has to go within your visual styles. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now the last thing to do is to bring our image into our JSON file. And so you're gonna go here to this URL section and you'll notice that within these double quotes, it says enter base64 image here. We have to grab our image and convert it to base64. So in the description, I have a link to a website that converts images into base64. And so let's go find our image. And I'll start off with the simple one that we created, which is our PowerPoint image. You're gonna drag it into the website. It's gonna encode it and convert it. Now go ahead and copy the image using this copy image button here. Go into our JSON file and you're gonna paste it within the double quotes. Now I'm gonna go home, hit save, and there, you've brought in the image into the JSON file. Let's see how that looks like in Power BI. All right, so here I am in a blank Power BI file. And so I'm gonna import my theme that we created. So we're gonna to go to view and we're gonna go browse for themes. And remember, I saved this one in the desktop. So I'm gonna click Power BI theme, open, and there you go. You'll notice that it automatically brings in the image. It'll say import was successful, right? And now if I were to start create uh, these visuals, you can see that the background is set. And as I go to the next page, the background is also set. Let me change the image a little bit because this is a very simple image and I want you to make sure this will work with really any image. So I'm gonna grab a slightly bigger image. All right, this one's 259 kilobytes. This one was 8.59. So same thing, I'm gonna go into our converter page I'm gonna bring in the file. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the image, go back into our JSON file, and I'm gonna replace 
our previous image and hit save and then go back into Power BI. Now this won't automatically change it. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to reload the theme. So go browse for themes, same thing, select our Power BI theme. And there, our image was brought in, it was successful. And the last thing I wanna show you, uh, because this is a call out in case any of you have any issues or any errors, is I'm gonna choose this other image. Now this is a, a big image. This is a five megabit image, okay? If you go to, to the page to convert, uh, one on here, um, there's a limit at how big your file can be. It won't, well, let's just try it. And I think it'll give us an error. So if I bring the image here, it's gonna error. It's gonna say the file is too big, max one megabyte per file. Now you can browse around the internet and find a program that'll convert this image to base 64. But I'm gonna tell you right now that if your file is bigger than one megabyte, it's too big because un unless you're working in Photoshop where you need to be down to the pixel clear, uh, your image doesn't need to be that big. So if you have a really big image and you still wanna use it as your background, uh, let me show you real quick. If I go create a new page and I actually change the background here, let, let's, uh, let me go grab that specific image. All right, and this is where you can mess with the fill, the fit, Okay, you'll notice that it's a pretty clear image. I mean, this is the original size. This is a big image, but it will not let us convert this to base 64. So what I would do if you're, if you're running into a really large image that you wanna use as your background is open it up with something like paint or paint 3D, anything where you can edit the size. I'm just gonna open it up with paint and just get it down to uh, below one megabyte. And I promise you, you're not gonna lose any quality on that image. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize it. I'm gonna size it down to 50% of the original size. And that, this isn't file size, but this is, I guess, the dimensions of my image. You'll still see that it's a really big image. And I'm just gonna test it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And we'll see how big the file is now. And it looks like our file is 817 kilobytes. So it's just below one megabyte. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload it into here. Grab the image, bring it in. Now it was able to convert it. It's still a really big file. You can still see that the dimensions are still really big, but now we're able to convert it at least. Copy the image, go back into our JSON file and replace it hit save and remember we're going back into Power BI we have to re re-import that theme so browse for themes go to the desktop find your theme I'm gonna hit open and now if I click a new page there's my image and you'll see that the file really it hasn't changed it's still crystal clear if we need it to match here remember that we actually set this one to fill instead of to fit so you can always go ahead and adjust the JSON instead of fit, change it to fill. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, reload my theme, and there's the image. So there you have it. That's how you bring in a, a custom image and you set it as the background for your entire project, right? Any new page that I open now, it's gonna utilize that background. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a, a, a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'd be more than glad to help. If you encounter any errors, uh, let me know because I'd like to be aware of that. I didn't really run into any issues with this myself. It was pretty straightforward. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you guys next time.